Hi, I'm HB, and today I'm going to talk about a little classical suite which I created for my touch technique. And this is how it sounds more or less. And uh, afterwards, I'm going to show you some tricks um, how to improvise a little bit with that and really get become creative. But first, let's see more or less how it sounds. Yeah, something like this. So now let's see how that thing works, more or less. It's a pretty easy one here. Yeah, so let's check it out. First part of it is pretty similar to normal tapping. You're, maybe the difference is where we're tapping with a clean sound. And in this case, we start with the open D string, and then we tap in 5, 8, 12. And you, the trick is really to start with the open D string and then you get into the figure. So. That can you work a with the motion and the, the dynamics to make it sound more interesting. Then we go 4, 7, 10 which is similar to a D chord. First, it's in G ma minor. This is a G minor arpeggio. D7 arpeggio, back to a G minor arpeggio. Now we move to C minor arpeggio. We go over the open D string, then we get tap, tap in uh, five, uh, a 12 and then uh, open G string back to G minor and to D7 what is also cool when you make kind of acceleration patterns And then you can start moving around a little bit here in the scale. You can make it more relaxed, something like this. See? 12, 13, 12. To D7. Back. Then. Now here we have to go up to the 14th fret, back, then you can also walk around the scale here, pretty cool. should have been in the 16th fret here. Whatever you do can really improvise a little bit here with this pattern. What is also very cool, which I didn't play at the beginning, but 
You make the figure on the D string, but you tap in on the G string. See? That's pretty tricky, but it works. You can also make combinations. See, it's pretty cool. Now to D7. That, that uh, you really need pretty much strength here in your tapping hand to really perform this with two strings. But it works. Um, what else is works sometimes? So, if you want to make it more intense, <laughs> you can go down here on the bass. Start again with the open D string, and now you tap in the G minor. 3, 6, and tap in here in the 12. So that's a really cool effect. Now the same on the C. And <clears throat> the main, I mean, the, 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 the single uh, figures are pretty easy, but to make it this a whole piece and keep the tension is a little bit tricky, but it works. You start easy. Switch to the bass line. And now we go to the second part, now we play the full touch technique, going to C minor. Here is C minor third, five, four, and here we play the arpeggio. Or the run here, 10, 12, 13, 10, 12, 11, 10, hammer on, 10, 11. Back to the, the G minor. And On D7 here, I'll take the D7 like this. Five, four, five. And now I play a diminished arpeggio up here. 10, 12, 13, 11, 'll make the oscillator bass 3 5 here and then up here we make the arpeggio of the G minor See. and that's more or less the whole thing and that's really nice we can do it relax
second part. So these were a few ideas how to play a classical suite with tapping or touch technique. If you're not really into touch technique, that doesn't really matter. Uh, you can play the first part, which is more or less in the uh, traditional tapping style. Uh, the second part is touch technique. Uh, it's a little bit more difficult because you have to play runs with your right hand. And Yeah, but um, I've already seen a few people now doing the touch technique who learn it from me. And I was astonished how fast some people who are really talented um, can do it. So this encouraged me to do more touch technique now here on the channel. So enjoy it and yeah, see you. Yeah.